Problem 20. Two different cubes of the same size are to be painted, with each of the with each of the faces being black or white. After doing so, we're trying to find the probability that after rotate after rotating them, they'll be the exact same. So in this case, we have to consider two factors. The first factor being position of the faces, and the second one being the being the colors, the number of colors. Because again, position matters because if we were to rotate it, they, the same colors have to be on the corresponding same sides. So let's consider the first case. We have zero white and six black. I'm doing this because again, every face has to be either two colors. So obviously that's a red flag for casework where we're gonna where we're gonna sort it in terms of white. So in this case, what's that equal to? That's one times one over two to six, and two to six gives one over two to twelve. The interpretation of this being, if I were to deconstruct the cube, what would I get? I would get a shade that looks like this, right? Every single box like this represents a face. How many faces are there? Well, there's obviously six faces. For every six face, how many probabilities are there? We can either be black or we can be white. So in either words, we have two probabilities being black or white for each of the six faces. We have two two to sixes because we have two cubes. That's why we have one over two to twelve. Remember, one because there's only one way to paint every face the same color. Now let's consider the second case. We have one white and five black. If we were to have one white and five black, the denominator stays the same. And what about a numerator? Well, that's six times six because why? If we were to choose one white, how many ways are there? Well, I can choose it to be on this square, but I can choose on this square, this square, this square, and so on. There's six possible faces. There's six possible faces to be painted white. So we have six times six because we have two cubes. Thirty-six over two to twelve is our is our second case um, output. Now let's consider the third case. This gets a little bit tricky because now we have to consider the arrangement part. So that's 2 to the 12. <clears throat> and since you have to consider arrangement, the subcases are 1, the white and white are adjacent, or 2, the white and white are not adjacent. The reason why for this is because, again, we're rotating it so they have to be in the same positions. So if I have to re redraw the deconstructed cube shape, then how do I place it? Well, how many ways have to choose the first white? From the previous case, we established that 6. Let's say I chose it on this square. Well, how many adjacent faces are there? If I have to put it in red, we have this place, this place, this place, or this place. They are directly adjacent to the W, as visually seen, so we have four possible slots to choose them. But wait, we overcounted. Why? Because we first planted the white first, and then we planted another white on the X square. So, what's the difference if I first place the white on the X square and then on the W square? There's no difference, because they're all the same color, and at the end, when we rotate it, they're going to still be the same. So we have to divide this by 2 factorial, because that's the number of times we have to place a cube down. And we gotta square this, because again, we have two cubes, and they all have the same arrangement. Now let's consider the second subcase, which is that the W and W are not adjacent. Well, if the X positions are the adjacent ones, then this Y position must be the unadjacent one. So therefore, for the first cube, we have for this first Y cube, we have six choices. Then we have only one choice for the second. Divide by two factorial, and we have to square this because again we have two cubes. So that is our third case. Now let's consider the fourth case. The fourth case is three white and three black. So how do we do this? Well, the denominator stays the same, and we have more casework, right? We have where the W's are all adjacent in a row. And now what I mean by this is that if I were to reconstruct this cube-looking shape, um. The whites can be in a row, and what I mean by this is like WWW -W -W or WWW, -W -W. they're in a row, right, and they're adjacent, but there's another subcase that I must consider. This is the case where the W's are in an L shape, like I call, you know, like this shape. You can visually imagine it where if I were to draw a cube, right, that would be white, that would be white, and that would be white. They're not in a row, but they're still adjacent, so that's the second case that we must consider, which is that the L shape W case. Now let's first consider the first case. The first case, if I were, um, that, that, this gets a little messy, so I have to redraw this again. Um, if I were to put the first W, well, there's six ways to do that, right? For the second one, it has to be adjacent, so from this case right here, the number of X's is four. And then, how many ways are there so that it can be in a row? Well, let's say I place it here. How many ways are there? Well, there can either be, if I were to draw it in blue, it can either be on this X position or on this X position. There's only two possible ways, so we gotta do two, and we gotta divide this by three factorial, and then we gotta square this because we have two cubes. Now, let's consider the second subcase, which is it's an L shape. Again, for the first cube, we have six ways, for the second, we have four ways, but then for the last one we have three ways because I can be here it could be here or no 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 rather it could sorry let me redraw it right um, I'll do it in red so the first one is here the first one is here the third possible case of course to do it in green the first one is here the second one is here and the third one is right here um, one two three so right here because if you're to plant it it will all share that same vertex so we have three possible choices, so we have three cases here, we gotta divide this by three factorial, and then we have to square it. Now we're done with case four. Let's consider case five. Case five, we have four white and two black, but wait a minute, that's the same as four black and two white, which is the same as case two. So that means that we just have to, all we have to do is multiply case two by two, case one by two, and case three by two, and we're done. Sum them up, and we get the answer. So let's simplify, I'll do everything in red to signify the ones we want. So we have this, 
we have this, we have this, so that's equal to 2 factorial, so that's just 2, so that's 6, not 16, so that becomes 2, 12, so 12 squared, plus 3, so 9, that's just 9, um, I don't want to make a mistake here, so 2, 12, yep, and that's 2 to the 12, and then that's the one we want, so let's box it up and not confuse ourselves, and then for case um, for case 4, what do we have? For case 4, we have this quantity, so that's 6, so 6 and 6 is eliminated, so we have 8 squared, and then we have um, 6 times 4, so 3 squared becomes, that's 6, so 12 squared over 2 to the 12. So what is 2 to the 12? 2 to the 12, well, that's equal to 1, 0, 2, 4, 2 to the 10th times 4. Um, right, so that's equal to uh, 0, 4, 4, 0, 9, 6, that's 2 to the 12. So if I were to draw everything out on top, um, it gets a little messy, but bear with me. 4096, we have 1 plus 36, that's gives 37, and we gotta add that with, what, 12 squared plus 9, 144 plus 9, 144 plus 9 gives 153, so 153, and then we also have 8 squared plus 12 squared, so that's 64 plus 144, so that obviously gives 208, so 208, we must sum that as well, plus 208, right, um, let me just make sure I got the right number, um, I did, so, again, when we get this, when we sum them, up together, so uh, 12 squared plus 9 squared, that's 144 plus 9, so 153, 36 plus 1, so we have to multiply 2 on everything, so that's actually, um, so we gotta sum that up and multiply this by 2, right, so then that is equal to 190 times 2, 190 times 2, that gives 380, 380 plus 208, that gives 588 over 4096, so we have to simplify, divide by 22048, um, and then that's 294, but there's no answer like that, so we have to do even further, 1024, and we get 147, um, 147 over 1024, bring to the answer choice D with our final answer.